I think we took really advantage of the entire month of uh, January to get a lot, a lot of good information on players, but also on other topics related then to this summer's World Cup. Key point certainly for us, you know, um, evaluating all players coming into camp, which is pretty much all MLS players except Mix Diskarud. Um, seeing, you know, how they come out of their long break that they had before that, uh, bringing them up to speed as quickly as possible. Um, and, uh, um, and getting a, a really kind of detailed picture on every one of them was very, very helpful. I think going down to Brazil for two weeks and uh, trying out the infrastructure that we're going to face in, in June and during the World Cup, Sao Paulo, um, the training site, the hotel, the team base hotel, um, was very, very valuable. I think, you know, uh, our staff kind of trip to Recife Natal, Manaus, the three sites where we're going to play in the World Cup to see there our our hotel, our training site, the stadium, to meet with people there, very helpful as well. Well, I think what is important is that the players that put a lot of work into these three and a half, four weeks get rewarded, you know, and, and uh, can shine in a certain way and, and build their case basically towards the World Cup roster. Um, I liked it that uh, we had really good energy right from the beginning on. Um, I liked it that, you know, our back line not, not didn't get nervous, you know, when they were high pressured. They still try to play out of the back when they, they play that high pressure way. Um, I liked it that our midfielder tried to stagger and f find different ways to make themselves available. So there was a lot of movement off the ball. So we found our people, you know, in midfield or even up front with, uh, with Wondo and with uh, Landon. Um, so m many things really kind of um, reflected the work on the training field that we did over the last four weeks. Now, obviously, you want to see that uh, uh, being transferred into the next opportunity, which will be in the beginning of March in the Ukraine, with uh, uh, other players coming into that group again. Um, so I, I think it was a positive first step in 2014. I think it's a, it's a huge compliment to the fans uh, and also uh, to the fact that you know, people really notice this national team. People really kind of follow this team now more and more uh, closely, not only because there's a World Cup coming up this summer, but I think also that uh, they can see a, a, a progress, they can see something is, is happening in this country with the professional game, um, that we're trying to get it to the next level, that we try to kind of push you know, younger players now into that uh, a roster, that we keep the door open for everybody, um, and that we're trying to develop a style of play that hopefully you know, kind of uh, uh, excites the people more and more. I mean, uh, we said it after the game that two and a half years ago, in the beginning of my time, we played a friendly at the so-called Home Depot Center those days with Costa Rica and we barely had uh, 12 or 15,000 people in the stadium. Uh, now we play a friendly with, with South Korea um, and it's not the first South Korean roster because also their guys play mainly in Europe and we have a sellout and we have a tremendous support, great atmosphere in the stadium. It really was a great buzz from, uh, from the beginning on. So I think, you know, it kind of just confirms that soccer is getting more and more popular. Soccer is getting uh, more and more attention, um, also through the media channels, and uh, and that's why the people, the curious, they want to see, they want to see good soccer.